Are you cross about your cross-legged position? Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and if this is a position that you struggle to sit in, it means that your hip mobility is lacking. This is not an advanced flexibility position. If you're more flexible, you notice like Jenny, she's able to get her knees all the way down to the floor. But if you can't even sit like me with your knees ever so slightly up, then that means that your hip mobility needs some work. And it is common to see people that struggle to sit like that, that are really struggling to sit up, or say one hip is a lot tighter than the other one, they really struggle to get that opposite knee down, either having back problems or knee problems, and side joint, SI joint issues, all that kind of stuff can start to um, come into play because their hip flexibility is lacking. So we want you to sit down with us right now and to see how this position actually feels to you, see if it feels comfortable. And if not, we're going to give you three things, not four, not two, but three things that you can work on in order to make this position better. So very first thing, if you're struggling to do this all together, is you just lean back and put your hands on the floor, okay? Put your feet against each other like this, and then start to work on one hip at a time. So actively, if you need to lean yourself over to one side of it, start to pry open one side of your hip at a time and see how low down you can get to the floor, okay? And then do the other side, see how that feels, and always, just like the idea of the simplistic mobility method, make sure that you're assessing how the hip actually feels. Is there a big difference between the two? And just keep swapping sides, okay? So you can start to really work on opening things up. Spend a good bit of time here. You can start to walk your hands a bit more forward as well to get yourself a bit more upright so you're more in that position. Or if you need to, you can even go right the way back. You can even fully bloom lie down if you wanted to, but it's good to sort of get as close to sitting up as possible because we're trying to improve our seated cross-legged position. So this is more relative to the position. So start to work on this, really open things up. Don't just let the knee fall down to see where it gets to. You're really seeing where it goes first and then opening it up yourself as well. And if you want to use a bit of assistance, you can even lift your bum up a little bit more and then put it back down and really try and open up the hips as much as possible. And then you can even go for both feet at the same time and bounce out. So this is a nice little butterfly position. So this will really help to start opening up your hips so that you're able to start making a bit of improvement. So after you've done that, retest your cross-legged position, see if it feels any better. So you're able to, if you're sort of, if you were here, are you starting to get to there? For some people, it can happen really, really quickly. For other people, like myself especially, it takes a long time to notice a difference. So make sure you stick with it. Now, we need other things to help us with the position. So we've worked on it while leaning back. Now we need to figure out a way to sit forward. Wait there, Jenny. To assist yourself, like a bench or a table, I would often get people to do this um, on a their door frame. So you would sit in your door, in your door, in your where the door opens, that bit there, and hold on to the door frame and use that to put yourself up. So what Jenny's going to do here is get herself into whatever position she can. So let's imagine Jenny, if we just bring the knees up a little bit and you're really struggling in that position, she's going to, in order to help herself to sit up more upright in this position, hold on the leg of the bench. Make sure it's something pretty sturdy because if you're pretty inflexible then you're going to need all the help you can get. So you're going to use your muscles to do this, okay? So Jenny can start to use her arms to pull herself that little bit more forward. Also make a point here guys as well to switch which legs in front, okay? So most people generally find that one leg is more comfortable to be in front than the other. Make sure you make a point of crossing them over and changing. Always do both sides. So you can start to pull yourself forwards and backwards and start to almost just wrap this out and just get used to being in a more upright position. Depending on how long you've been doing this, make sure you give yourself a minimum five minutes a day working on this. Like, work on it as often as you can, because once you've got it, you've got it. So, work on this, pull yourself backwards and forwards, and if you're getting close to that you can start to sit in a position a bit better, you can sort of let your hands go and see how you're feeling in that position. Is it starting to feel a bit more like you can do it more unassisted? Work on that and sort of test where you're at with the regressions as well. The other great thing that you can start to do while you're here, so this is number three, is to start to use your own elbows to help pry the hips open, okay? So you get the elbow right in beside the knee and start to press down as much as you can. And you wanna get this one to a point that you can actually let go of what you're holding on to. Have your hands in like a prayer position and then actually start to use your elbows like this and start to pry down. So then you're starting to get away from even using something to hold yourself up. So that's the three progressions you wanna use. You wanna lean back, 
open things up that way. Use something to hold on to, to pull yourself forward into a more uncomfortable position to start and make the general position more comfortable. And then the last one is to start to use your elbows. Another nice one, you can sort of mix them a even as well, is do one hip at a time. And so while you're holding on, Jenny's gonna hold on. She can push down with the hand as she's doing there or if your knees up around your ears, then you can start to use the elbow to start to push down that way there as well. But as you've seen there with Jenny with the arm straight, if you can get to that, you're getting pretty close. So that's a really, really nice progression there as well um, that you can start to work on. So like I said, make sure you devote some time to this every day. Once you get it, it's in the bag and then just spend more time sitting in this position. If you're really struggling with your hip uh, flexibility, make sure you check out the Simplistic Mobility Method as it is gonna to help to break things down left and right and see exactly where you're lacking in. It's gonna help your overall hip flexibility. So make sure and check that out. Get in this position more often and your hips are going to feel amazing. Okay guys? <laughs>